Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Cynthia, also known as Creative Mama of Three on YouTube and on Instagram, and I'm going to show you another one of my cosplay makes. Now the outfit that I'm going to show you today was made for my middle daughter back in 2019 when she was 13 years old for her Halloween costume. She really wanted to be Athena Sykes, which I believe is well, she, I know she's a character in Ace Attorney video game. I'm not sure if she's an attorney or what her part is. So yeah, I just make what they tell me to make or ask me to make, I should say. So I'm going to put a picture of what the outfit she wanted me to make here. And then I'm going to show you some of the patterns that I used to create that pattern, for, to create that outfit. So first, the pattern over here is C1973. It was purchased at Walmart. It is a 2012 pattern and I just bought it because I liked it. At the time I wasn't sewing that much and I thought that would make a very cute bolero jacket for like maybe church or something like that. So I used that for the top and then I also used Butterick. I think it's 6493. I used that for the skirt. That is like an athletic, athletic wear pattern comes with like the tennis skirt, some shorts and some tops. I did use the tennis skirt pattern because the character had like some kind of pleated skirt. And even though that pattern is for knit, I used the woven. And all I did to alter the pattern was that I put a little invisible zipper on the side. So I'm gonna show you that now. Right here I have, oops, it's falling off the hanger. Here is the shirt. The shirt I got from Goodwill, it's a man shirt. What I did to alter it is I took the sleeves off. It was a long sleeve men's dress shirt. Took the sleeves off and then I manipulated the bottom a little bit to make like little points come in the front. Ah, my eyes aren't long enough. Look, I still have strings on it. <laughs> um, yeah, this is when I first started getting really back into sewing after I did the other cosplay. At this point, I was only making Halloween costumes for everyone. So what I did was, is I took the sleeves off the shirt because I just thought it was gonna be just too hot. Because we're in the South, it does not get cold on Halloween at all. But I took the cuffs of the, the sleeves and I just um, kind of sandwiched it in between two pieces of yellow fabric the same fabric and then I put a little bit of the aqua trim around it this was a little challenging to do yeah you know, it took a little trial and error my seam ripper was my best friend on this one and then I just made the tie I just took a piece of this aqua fabric it is just a regular quilters cotton made it into I think cut a four inch strip sewed right sides together turned it inside out and then tied it into a little tie and then it's a little jacket I, I used quilters cotton from Hobby Lobby I believe for the jacket and it was very thin and flimsy so I to give it a little more body I did line it and all I did was make another copy of the jacket minus the sleeves and then just put right sides together sewed around the the edges you know flipped it right sides out ironed it I did a little bit of top stitching to keep the lining under and I think it turned out really great this pattern probably wasn't the best pattern to use because it had an elastic collar like there's elastic in here and I really should have used a bolero jacket with a little more stability up here not had because when she was wearing it it was like sliding off a little bit but she looked really cute in it and was very happy about it and then for the skirt I naturally use the same yellow fabric for the skirt. Here it is right here. And you can see a little bit, I got the little kick pleats there because that's what the skirt was for the character. And I also was very proud of this zipper. This is the first time I ever installed an invisible zipper and it works so nicely. It doesn't really match. The color was a little off, but that's what I had on hand and you couldn't really see it. I guess it's not necessarily an invisible zipper because you can see the zipper a little bit, but it's really not that noticeable. I really had a lot of fun um, making this outfit and she looked great in it. She loved it. Um, unfortunately, no one really knew who she was when we went around the neighborhood trick-or-treating because I guess, you know, not a lot of people were into Ace Attorney 
um, in her age group, but she felt great in it. It fit her wonderfully. We did buy her a wig, but the wig didn't really match the picture that we um, thought we were getting. And her hair is so long. If you can see in the picture, her hair is so long. So we just, I made her a scrunchie and she put her ponytail to the side, just like the character. And I thought she looked wonderful and she was very happy with it. So, you know, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I do have a few more outfits of cosplay to share with you. So if you give, you know, like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any more of my creations. Okay, and hope where you are, the sun is shining and you, you have a little bit of time to be creative every day. Thank you. Bye.